And will Rondo be off the bench or Jaron? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how the flow of the game's going, and then we'll make the determination. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan said say? yesterday that he had, did, at that at that point when we talked, didn't get an explanation from you. Did you talk to him today about the decision and about what you guys were thinking and why? I, I did. Yeah, we uh, we met this morning uh, at the practice facility, uh, nine or ten o'clock this morning. Uh, we got together and, and talked about it. Uh, he was great. You know, very professional. Uh, you know, talked about uh, you know accepting you know whatever role uh, he has. And, uh, you know, uh, you know helping uh, helping our guys stay ready. Uh, I was proud of how he handled the situation last night. Uh, he was over there cheering uh, for the guys on the bench and, uh, and talking to him when they came out uh, for uh, for rotation reasons. So, um, yeah, he's uh, handled it well, and uh, you know we'll see how it goes. Jimmy said yesterday that his concern was they have to stay in Rondo's there and make sure he doesn't drift away. Are, are you concerned about that? That he could drift away and, and, and feel like he's expendable now and, and start looking for that next team or that next. Place. You know, I, again, I, I had a, a, a really good meeting with uh, with Rajan this morning, and uh, uh, you know, he was uh, again very professional about it. Uh, you know, again, talked about uh, you know doing whatever he can to help uh, help the team. Uh, you know, and again, again, I think that's very admirable for, for a guy uh, that's had the type of career that he's had. Uh, you know, I, I know he'll uh, he'll be ready uh, when he's called upon. And, uh, you know, it's just, again, it's just the decision that uh, that we decided to go with. Uh, see if we can change things up and change the flow of our team. Is this, a, is this a basketball decision or a disciplinary decision? No, it's, it's strictly basketball. Okay. Yeah. Is, Why there did you, is there a role for him off the bench, considering the way that he plays and how difficult it is to make it accommodate that type of thing? Yeah, I, th I think there can be, sure. Uh, you know, again, especially when, when you uh, you look at our second unit uh, with Doug, with, uh, with Nico, uh, you know, with floor spacers. Uh, so, yeah, I think there, uh, there, there, there is a role. And, and again, we'll, we'll see, uh, see, how, see how it plays out. Why did you decide that? Do this. What, what do you think is going to help? Can, can help you? Well, you know, I thought Michael uh, has, has given us really good energy. Uh, you know, since he's been back, you know, I think uh, he's, he's done a good job pushing the pace. He gets up defensively, uh, 94 feet. You know, it's just a, you know, again, it's it's a decision that, that we decided to go with. Uh, you know, and then hopefully it'll help. Fred uh, Michael was benched a couple of times last year in Milwaukee, then started again. So he's been through this on the other side back and forth. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, it, it's, it's something, uh, you know, again, we've had a couple guys that have been in and out of the rotation. Uh, you, know, you look at what, uh, what Miritich uh, has gone through. He, he handled it well, came back, played a couple uh, of his best games uh, of the season. Uh, you know, even though a shot didn't fall last night, you know, I thought he gave us great effort. Uh, you know, gave us uh, uh, good minutes on the other end of the floor. Uh, you know, so, again, it's all about how you handle situations like this. Uh, you know, we'll get some opportunities to practice uh, moving forward here. And, Again, we'll see how it all plays out. Fred, how much of this has to do with the, the last couple of weeks? There's been some starts that have been really slow and lack of energy. And talked about Michael Carter Williams bringing energy. How much of that has played into it? Yeah, it, it does. And, you know, not that you know Rajon's, you know, the guy that uh, you know is, is, is strictly responsible for it before the slow starts. You know, it's a collective effort, obviously, with uh, with all five guys uh, that are out there on the floor. You know, this is just a decision uh, that that, uh, that we're going with. You know, again, to see uh, you know if Michael can can inject. You know, some energy and, and again just change the flow uh, of our team with that starting lineup. And, uh, and again, hopefully we'll get off to better starts. Will you give it will Dwayne play? Uh Dwayne is gonna play, yes. You've given Rondo and Dwayne and Jimmy a lot of a lot of freedom, especially in training camp to speak up and things like that. When you make a decision like this, do you talk to Jimmy and Dwayne consider they are the two other leaders of the team? Uh, we're, we are in constant communication and uh, uh, you know you're always uh, talking about uh, the team. You know, as far as you know, the decision that was made. You know, he, he, it's my decision. You know, it's it's, it's something that uh, that I decided to go with. Uh, you know, it, it's it's something where uh, you know it's it's not always easy. You know, to make these types of decisions. Uh, you know, but you know, you, you got to get buy-in uh, from your group, and uh, and again, go out and, and perform and compete, uh, play hard. It's a team, obviously, that's handed it to us uh, in the two games that we played, uh, the back-to-back -back games. We need to come out and compete at a high level tonight if we want to have a chance uh, to uh, to win this game. They're athletic, they're long, they get out transition. Uh, they've exposed us in a lot of areas. So, uh, you know, we just uh, need to get out of the gate strong uh, tonight. Hopefully we do that and give ourselves a chance. Fred, what do you have to do differently than those two games? Uh, we had to run back, no one help. Uh, you know, two was rebound. You know, they, 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 you know, their length was a real issue for us. Uh, you know, a couple times we were back, we just didn't communicate our coverages. Uh, you know, sometimes it's as simple as that. So, uh, you know, again, just getting back, uh, you know, they get confidence when they get out and get dunks, and then their threes are easier to shoot. Uh, they shot the ball extremely well against us. 
you know, and really it's, it, it hasn't been a game after, after halftime. So we need to get off to obviously a much better start. Fred Rondo's kind of <coughs> been what he's been. He's not an outside shooter. He never has been. How much of this decision has been predicated on the fact that you don't have outside shooting in the place that you anticipate? Well, it's uh, it, that's not the sole decision. On, on, on why uh, it happened. Again, I'm just looking to change the flow of our team and, and uh, you know, we'll put Mike on there and, and hopefully it'll help. Does Michael, his presence and if obviously his emergence now since he's starting, does it make Rondo expendable as far as the organization's concerned? Oh, I don't know about that. I, you know, we're, we're, again, it was just a decision that was made, you know, strictly a basketball decision. And, and uh, again, hopefully, uh, hopefully it can help our team. Did you, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, looking back at yesterday, do you have any more thoughts on how you guys could have gotten McDermott some more shots after he started out hot? Yeah, we we, uh, we we did. You know, we looked at it, you know, second half. We, uh, you know, especially that fourth quarter, we really had it rolling uh, early uh, in, uh, in the quarter. You know, the, the breakaway foul uh, you know, hurt us at the end to give them a four-point possession and also take time off the clock. Uh, you know, we had a couple good looks you know, after running a play that was successful. Had the same good look, we just didn't capitalize on it. Uh, again, Doug's a guy when he's on the floor, it does open up driving lanes because uh, teams don't leave him. So, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely an asset for us, but you know, there are a few times we missed him uh, in transition. Yes, is there a couple times we could have headhunted him better? Uh, absolutely, and then other things uh, we have to continue to work on. What's going on, Bob? Uh, you know, he's again a guy that you know, is just waiting for that next opportunity. He's playing well, and you know, the guy's been there four and four games. Pick up, he's, he's got as, as much energy as anybody. Uh, you know, just waiting for his name to be called, and, and again, when that happens, I'm confident he'll go out there and give us a lift. What right now? What are? Uh, I mean, obviously, he's Felicio getting that call ahead of him, kind of in a different position. But what is Bobby not doing, or what does Bobby need to improve? And, Going to help him jump back into this. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's you know about that. I, I, he said it, it's about the position. Uh, you know, Chris, what, what he brings uh, at that five spot. Uh, you look at last night again. I think he was as instrumental as anybody in that comeback because of his forceful rim rolls. That was opening up uh, uh, opportunities in the perimeter. You know, Nico hit a couple threes in the fourth quarter. Uh, we also had other wide open shots. They you know, we you know, just didn't knock down, unfortunately. So you know, that's what Chris brings to this team is uh, is that rim rolling. Physical presence. Uh, he's been doing a good job in the offensive glass battles uh, on the other end against true centers uh, in this league. So, you know, it's more about that right now.